Hi Gemini, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your September tarot reading. Let's jump right into it without further ado. I hope you guys are doing very well. Let's see what Geminis can expect to happen in September 2020. Let's see. Okay, so if you are dealing with finances, right? If finances came to the forefront for you right now, this is the most important. There might be uh, possibly stress uh, revolving around finances or maybe your job, your workplace. Uh, this could actually be one of those most significant um, things in your life in September. You could be kind of... Uh, trying to figure things out, maybe working on certain things, you know, but I do believe that it could have something to do either with finances, with workplace, or actually I have a queen here, I have queen of pentacles, maybe with this specific person, maybe there is an earth sign, or maybe there is a co-worker, there is a business partner, you know, there's somebody in your life here that you will be kind of dealing with throughout the whole month of September. We do have nine of cups at the bottom, which is a great card, you know, nine of cups is still finding time to play, you know, finding time to kind of relax and do things that, things that you love in September. And, uh, you know, Mars is going to go retrograde, so if you've been really active, this could be a good time to really slow down when it goes retrograde, where you can really uh, take time to yourself, maybe uh, finally try and enjoy certain things that you couldn't enjoy for the past few months because maybe you were simply busy, maybe go on some kind of mini vacation. Nine of Cups is definitely a selfish card, but sometimes we need that selfishness, you know, sometimes we do need... Um, kind of just to take, you know, take a step back and relax and enjoy ourselves. Uh, me, for example, you know, I sometimes forget to take days off, even though I work from home, it's, home, it's still not an easy job, you know, and I forget sometimes. So I'm kind of looking forward to Mars retrograde where, yes, maybe I'm gonna feel more drained, but at the same time, this is what's gonna kind of make me um, actually take rest and focus on myself and relax a little bit more in my days off. So Nine of Cups here, could represent that okay now the first card we have here is the hanged man so unfortunately i have to say this if you're waiting on news if you're waiting on some kind of important information it may not show up in the beginning of the month and i'm sorry my cat is digging in the bag and um, he hasn't done that at all you know he just started as soon as i uh turned my camera on so i apologize for the background noise so with the hangman, yes, if you are waiting for something, if you are expecting some information, some news, some person, I don't know, in the beginning, very beginning of September, I'm afraid to say that you may not receive that news on time because the hangman is just a card of stagnation. You know what I mean? It's a card of having to wait, having to be patient, putting things on hold here. So why is the hangman here? It could also be that maybe if you are waiting for a person to get something done, you're waiting for a result from a person, some kind of an outcome from a person, they may not also give you that result uh, right away. And truthfully, it does involve uh, another person, but we do have all these queens here, so I'm not sure. Uh, Queen of Wands, the Tower, and Three of Pentacles. So what can I say here? There might be a change that you may witness in the beginning of the month, but it's not necessarily going to be your change. It's going to be the change that you literally witness from somebody in somebody else's life, okay? This could be the Queen of Wands, it could be someone like a friend, an assistant, a family member maybe. Um, it could, however, also be that, again, if this is just you, if there is... Um, nobody whose change you're going to witness. This could be you rushing too fast into doing something, into a relationship, for example, into, I don't know, signing a contract, you know, and things like that. And it, the circumstances could play out in a way where you're going to have to be stopped, you're going to have to be slowed down, and there will be more things to go over, more things to maybe fix, more documents to sign, and things like that. You know, depending on, again, what kind of situation you're currently in. Because Queen of Wands, yes, it can indicate a different person aside from you, but Queen of Wands is also action, fire energy, a lot of control a lot of you know um, enthusiasm and ambition and kind of charging forward but then the hangman is the main card meaning that there might be some slowing down that needs to happen in the beginning of the month 
The tower, however, may not be something that you should be, you know, fearing. I actually a lot of times like the tower card, you know, especially if things um, have been stagnant. Uh, I prefer the tower card, you know, that way things finally shift and maybe they shift in a little bit of a shocking way at first, but it's only, it only comes around as a shock because you have been waiting so long, you know what I mean? And you kind of got used to mm, a different circumstance. So the tower here may either slow things down or speed things up, by the way, you know, I do believe it is going to slow things down and also I believe that maybe um, you know, there's a person in your life who is going to experience a change um, and you may be either their support or maybe their witness um, or maybe you may have to be somehow involved in kind of witnessing this. Um, in the extended reading, I'm going to clarify the Tower card. I'm going to see what this is all about. Now, towards the middle of the month, we do have nine of ones. Nine of ones here represents working hard, not giving up, but having to go over too many things. You know, it, again, it seems like maybe this could have something to do with work, career path, finances. You know, there is a lot required from you here. Not only a lot of patience, but also a lot of effort. And with nine of ones, sometimes we can feel really exhausted and tired and we just want to uh, we just want to detach, you know what I mean? We don't really want to be involved in anything. But at the same time, deep down, we understand that this is something that we've been building for years, for months, or this is something actually important to us, and we got to keep going. You know, that's nine of wands here. Also, this could indicate that maybe you are building a guard up against something or someone. You know, you're feeling kind of protective over yourself, over your space. And it could work for those that, for example, are trying to break into your life somehow and you don't necessarily want them there. Um, you know, with Queen of Wands, the Tower, Three of Pentacles, there could, for example, be a person that shows up and starts actively approaching you and you're building your your gate, your fence, you know, you're building your guard up. You don't want them in your space. It could be that as well. So why is nine of wands here? What I also believe here is that regardless, yes, it could actually play out as a, a person kind of trying to get into uh, your personal space. However, this person is hidden right now and they may actually do this in a kind of a hidden way kind of behind the scenes you may not know that it's directly them especially if it's competition of some kind you know um, if this is someone that is trying to outdo you in some way uh, it could be the case but also high priestess just shows me that it's someone that you don't really know yet Okay, um, or, I'm sorry, not, you don't know, not necessarily them yet as a person, but you may not know who this is yet until September comes around. However, there is also Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles here. We have this saying in uh, Russian, and uh, there is no way I can interpret it correctly, even though my college major was, uh, I'm supposed to be a translator, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it would say something like, if you rush, you're gonna make everybody laugh, that type of thing. So this is kind of your uh, situation here where you understand, you acknowledge that you need to be patient for something to resolve, for something to happen, because you can either cause disappointment of others or you can get disappointed yourself if you do rush. So you're not necessarily going to make anybody laugh, but you are going to cause disappointment, whether within yourself or maybe, you know, in the outside world, if you rush here. So you understand that you need to move slowly. You also understand that you cannot give up the projects, you cannot give up the job or whatever you're doing. This isn't the month of giving up, okay? This isn't a month of changing uh, everything completely, you know, kind of taking charge in changing things. No, it's about kind of going a little bit backwards and reevaluating everything and making sure that you get enough energy, making sure that uh, you're doing you're doing everything right, you know, and if there needs to be more um, things to be added to the pile, right, or something needs to be worked on, you have a full month to work on that. You know, nobody is rushing you here. 
And finally, we do have Queen of Pentacles. So this could indicate this one person, right? That will be very significant. They may not show themselves yet, but they may show themselves by the end of the month. Uh, or this could be possibly, again, representing your finances, representing your workplace. So why is Queen of Pentacles here? To be honest with you, no. Um, okay, this can play out as... Uh, this isn't a troubling person, okay? There could be two people here, <laughs> let's just put it that way. There could be this one person in the middle of the month that you may have to protect yourself from, but not in a way where they're dangerous. More like you just, you want to close your space, you don't want them in there, you know? Uh, the other person towards the end of the month, however, we've got two of wands, we've got three of cups and knight of cups. There could be some really good friend that shows up who you are gonna kind of, you know, have fun with and really enjoy your company and really uh, do things for yourself. Because remember, we did have that knight, uh, nine of cups at the bottom. Also, this could be possibly some kind of reconnection, a reunion with this person. We do have temperance at the bottom. So this person is bringing you peace um, at the end of the month. You know, you are leaving the month with this person by your side. Whoever this is, you know, male or female, earth sign or not, water sign or not. You know, this person is someone that you are enjoying your time with. So this for some people could play out as the whole, like the whole month is the same person. You know, you're witnessing a change happening within them or with them and then they approach you, but they approach you kind of in the wrong, pushy way, but then by the end of the month you reconcile. This could happen this way or this could happen as there might be someone kind of bothering you, but by the end of the month the person that you want shows up. So in the extended reading I'm going to pull more tarot, I'm going to pull Lenormand and I'm going to pull oracle cards to figure out the situation a little bit better but for you guys that want to stop right here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye